A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of your listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. And today is the 198th day of your Gauli blessing. And before we go ahead in this Gauli blessing, I have stopped sharing this blessing on the group in WhatsApp and other places. So if you have subscribed, then you'll be able to listen to this very easily every day, single day. Be sure that you click on that notification bell which is down below so that you get notified whenever this blessing is posted. So I'll see you again. And let's go ahead with today's blessing. But before we go ahead, let's have a look at look at this link, which takes us towards flexibility, yoga sins, and diet and sleep patterns. Everything is mentioned over here. Have a look at that and spread the good news. So let's go ahead with today's blessing. What does Baba have to say? Either we get into the details of things and we question so many things that we forget God the Father, the seed, and we get into the tree. That means we start looking at the tree and we forget what is the seed like. So the seed over here is God and the tree is the expansion of your thoughts. So Baba Weya says May you step away. May you step away from all the expansion of colorful things. Those talks are very colorful. What people are saying is very colorful. How people are doing their own uh, hard work towards spirituality is very colorful. Getting into other people's lives is very colorful. That's why we forget to understand ourselves, who we are, what we are. When we compare ourselves with others, we forget our own powers, our own values and virtues which God has given us. And we start looking at other people and we think, I wish I had that. I wish I had those things. Well, God says, don't get into the details. Because every leaf in that tree is like that soul who has got a different essence, has got a different way, looks different also. No two leaves on a tree look the same, right? Similarly over here, you are a leaf, I am a leaf. In terms of, as a metaphor, as a soul. So on that tree, where the seed is God the Father, if we start looking at the leaves and the branches, then we forget the God the Father. We start looking at other people. God wants us to stop doing that. So, Baba says, may you step away from all the expansion of colorful things and make difficult things easy as an easy yogi. When we get into details of why, when, what, where, how of people, how people are moving ahead in this spiritual line or what what they are doing or what qualities they have or what not so good or bad qualities do they have. So when we look at all those things, we forget God the Father who is the source of all virtues and values and powers and we start getting all into expansion of other people's lives and what people are doing, what the organization is doing and we forget ourselves and we forget God. So, Baba says, when you begin to look at the external situations instead of looking at the Father, what situations are coming, what people are doing, how the government is reacting, how the society is working, what's happening in some other country, what's happening in the world, when we get into the details of all those things, when God has already told us what exactly is going to happen in the world, what is the end of days going to look like, when all that has been shared already with us, then why do we get into the details of it, why, when, what, where, how? God says you forget when you get into those details your intellect goes into those things and you forget to meditate or focus on God which is the most important thing which will keep you stable and keep me stable too so Baba says instead of looking at the father many questions can arise and you begin to experience an easy thing to be difficult because when we get into the details our intellect doesn't have so much of power so as to decipher or separate pure from impure and a lot of energy is taken in doing so what is the right knowledge? What is the wrong knowledge? What is the right thinking? What is the wrong thinking? So God says only focus on one pure thing which gives you peace and love and happiness and follow that path. Don't, don't get into the external details of what, when, how, how that person is behaving, how this person is working, how, how people are moving ahead in this line. It's important to understand that we need to focus on ourselves because God is giving us the direction. We don't need to focus on other people to get the direction. So God says... An easy thing to be difficult because the situations are the tree and the father is the seed. So Baba says those who hold the tree of expansion in their hands put aside the father. So if you get any if you get held somewhere, stuck somewhere in this path, focus on the father, not on the situation, not on the people and the why and the hows. And that's where the peace will come back and we'll be able to focus on not blaming others, not complaining. Not even thinking of ourselves as somebody who's slow, who doesn't, who doesn't have the power or the strength to move ahead. We even do that. We get into the expansion of blaming ourselves or cursing ourselves. God says, don't do that. Focus on God. Focus not on others. Focus on your qualities and on God. So Baba says, 
that those who hold the tree of expansion in their hands put aside father and the expansion then becomes a trap in which they themselves become trapped if i keep on giving the reasons of why i failed why i fall fell down or why i'm not able to move ahead and i expand into those whys and why nots then that is expansion oh i'm not so good oh i have come late or oh, i'm not good at meditation oh i or maybe i'm not able to understand this knowledge so well because i am not so sharp or i don't have the good intellect or uh, maybe my background my family background i am not getting support from my family all those things are expansions of why i am not so good or why i won't be able to do and then comparing with others oh that person is so lucky oh that person is so good in this i wish i could be like that god is saying don't focus on them or don't focus on your weaknesses focus on me stop that expansion put a full stop so uh, let's go ahead papa says and the expansion then becomes a trap so don't get trapped in your own trap in which they themselves become trapped there are many colorful things in the expansion of situations which attract you and they will attract us therefore have a remembrance of the father and the seed father is the seed right of the whole tree of expansion so let's stop looking at the other seeds or other different leaves let's look at the fruit of values and worship is god is giving us and stop looking at what is bad in me or what is bad in others or what is good in others and not so good in me and get into the expansion of all that which is wasting of time so then god says therefore have remembrance of the father and the seed and put a full stop and step away from everything and you will become an easy yogi so into this of going into expansion contract it that means don't expand your thoughts into why when what where how just everything is one truth one answer is god the father seed is the most important not the tree of expansions so if you follow that if you forget the god the father the seed then the tree comes into the limelight and that's where we get lost and we get into confusion if you look at other people who are doing purusha who are doing hard work in spirituality we'll see negativity more we'll see positivity less so let's look at the most positive the prayers being god the father and less be in alignment with our purpose so i leave you with this beautiful blessing have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti Thank you.